Okay. Oh. Don't know if I was. Oh, it's very heavy. It's quite a hard build when you get going. I've had to like wrap things around as we go, sort of thing. Oh, getting down on my haunches. <laughs> Trying to. It'd be best to put those with super glue. It's sort of, you know, where is it? Sort of. Yeah, but they're not lined up properly. So, you know. Mm, yeah, it's not good enough, fellas. The idea is there. Yeah, it needs, and it's too complicated, too heavy, too many, too many elements in there. I think, uh, the, the, but obviously the, the the basic concept is in there somewhere, and I need to, uh, you know, uh, what's it not scrap it all down? What do you call it? Reduce it down, find the salient, whatever it is, that's making this one work a lot easier, even with all this weight. So you can see, look, it's pulling it down like at, a, at an angle. It's so heavy, uh, sort of thing. Oh, maybe that's half the problem. I need, need, need to find that spanner. Uh, it's a little bit easier. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, it's gone down again. Oh, well. It was good while it lasted. Uh, I need a better. Well, if that's the bill, what do you. Oh, there we go. That's half the problem. Anyway, I need to make it lighter and maybe just have like one layer thick and find some way. Still haven't worked out how to do it on, on the flat surface. Though I think the reason it doesn't work on the flat surface is it would work if I had the wheel at uh, nine, you know, um, in the vertical position. Then this idea would work on the vertical if it was on there sort of thing, uh, flat. So I'm getting the impression this is a result of uh, all magnets are gyroscopes, like every little dipole is a gyroscope. And when you sum all the dipoles together, you, you're, you're going to get a, uh, a moment. So when you bring your magnets in, uh, basically you're putting a force at 90, you know, you're getting a force at 90 degrees to what you think you're getting. And that's why this one pushes the wheel so much more easily. Whereas when we put it on the flat there, it doesn't work because it's pushing straight down on the wheel and it's just basically like putting a finger on the wheel and stopping the wheel from going around. Whereas this one, you put the magnets in there and it's giving you a, uh, a force at 90 degrees, which is sort of, if we can work out exactly where, what, the what the angle of 90 degrees is to the face is, then we can probably make a better build, but also we've got to reduce the weight. So, um, mm, so it's back to sort of like go, getting two of these, sort of back to um, and doing something, you know, something basic like this, at an angle sort of thing, and working on that like like an arrowhead or something like that. I don't know, something like that. Hang on, other way around, and you know, somehow. I mean, if that arrowhead can push this weight, you know, it's not too bad, you know. But we just got to somehow get the arrowhead to take in the next arrowhead and then the next arrowhead and the next arrowhead and, you know, you know what, you know where we're going, fellas. We got to thunk our way, thunk our way. As I said, it's a double Rubik's Cube problem, basically. But I've worked out why that thing didn't work. Uh, when it's on the flat, it's it's um as I said, every magnet is a gyroscope, um, basically. So you're getting a force at 90 degrees, what you think you, you, you're supposed to be getting, and um, if it's not in the right direction, you're actually stopping the wheel from going. This one will get the wheel to work. Whereas if we put this idea, the the flat idea, where you know you know the flat thing that we're trying to do with the bars on top like that. That should work on that side like that, but when the wheel is in the vertical position. But that will be the proof. If we can get this working on with this some sort of design like this on the uh, on the level, or what is it, on the horizontal, uh, then the proof is to turn it at 90 degrees, and it should also work on the uh, vertical, and that will be the proof. So you have the three builds basically 
the, the one that works here, then you show that it doesn't work on this thing, but when you put it on the vertical, it does work. And that will also you know, prove the, uh, the gyroscopic nature of magnets um, and that magnetism is a form of radioactivity and it'll all be nice and, neat, nice and neatly tied up together. But as I said, yeah, I think we, I think we need less ingenuity and more brilliance, I think. I think that's how I'll title this one, Less Ingenuity, More Brilliance.